Hey guys, so I'm live streaming from my Mavic to Zoom, to my controller, to my laptop. Mm -hmm. Here is a slight delay, about three seconds, but no internet. This is just a local network between the two machines using Nginx. and the custom RTMP uh, stream and uh, VCL media player. I'll show you how to do it in a second. So right now I'm gonna show you how I set up my computer to do the Mavic 2 live stream. So the first thing is, uh, I make sure I'm connected to the internet at the start, at least right now. There might be a way around this by setting like a static IP address or something, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> but for right now you have to be connected to the internet to start. I go into network settings, <clears throat> mobile hotspot, I turn my mobile hotspot on. Now the reason you need the internet is because you, I can't seem to turn this on without being connected to the internet. Once you're on and your device is connected, then you can disconnect from the internet. So this you'll see down here is my phone that connected, and part of the Mavic controller. So now we can close that. Uh, the other thing I did is um, network band I put to 2.4. I was having trouble when it was on both. You'll see my passwords there, but obviously I will be changing that. So we'll exit that. Then you can go and you can get rid of your internet. So the internet is now gone. Then I will go into the folder that I have the ng. INX, NGINX program, and I will run it as administrator. Okay, so that changes. Now the other thing I like to do is always make sure that's running. So I go to Task Manager, and I scroll down, and you can see it's running here. So I'm pull this If it's not running, I would go into the logs and see why. Now, you'll see here the most common problem I had was that it had it failed to bind to the port 1935 because um, something else was using it. Um, so I could kill the task that was associated with this and that would work, uh, but I ended up just changing the port to 1940 and you change that into the configuration file. Okay. Um, but it's working, so we don't need to worry about that. So we can exit that. <clears throat> uh, OBS is running, but that's just to record this video. It has nothing to do with the um, program itself. Now, uh, normally I would go to the command prompt and make sure bank. Um, and I'll show this if I can find a way to exit it out. So you'll see here that this is the local connection to the phone that we made. Um, and normally our wireless adapter would have an IP address and stuff. <clears throat> if you are still connected to the internet, you have two IP addresses. It doesn't matter which one you use, but we'll use this one down here. So then, you can close that. So now the computer's ready. So now we'll go over and I'll show you how to set up the phone in the and then I'll show you how to play it back on here. Okay, so now I'll show you how to set up your phones. Come in here. You can see that I'm in airplane mode, so I'm just going to turn my Wi-Fi on, which will connect to the Black Cloud Network, which is my computer. And we'll close that, and then we'll turn on our controller, and then our aircraft. Okay, and then we'll launch the... Okay, so we've launched the app. And everything's ready, so we're ready to start recording. So you go to the dot dot dot. <clears throat> this will come up, select live broadcast platform. Custom RTMP server. So you'll see the format there, which is uh, RTMP, the IP address, the port, and then slash live. Hit next, hit start. And you'll see in the corner here, so our battery's are really low, that we are live. Now I'll show you how to view it on your computer. So it's really three components. You need the network, however you want to set that up, between the controller and the computer. 
you need the RTMP server, which in our case is Nginx, and you need uh, a viewer. And so I use VLC Media Player. Let's go to Media, Open Network Stream, make sure everything's right, and hit Play. Battery. Okay, and now you see we are live streaming from the aircraft. Now, I do find that it is about a three to four second lag, which I found worse when we were using um, the internet instead of the, the local area connection. So I think this will be fine for my application. It is a bit quirky and does have some issues, but it seems to get better the more that I use it and the easier it is. And once you got it set up a few times, it seems to work well. Um, so I, find, I think the hardest part of it is all is getting Nginx to work on the computer. I'll link a video in the description that kind of shows that and how to edit the configuration log. And the other big thing is if it doesn't work, if it's not running in your task um, window, then go and check the logs and, and try to figure it out from there. But in my case, it was almost always a port number issue. So. Hopefully that helps. And I'll try to work on figuring out how to do it without that initial internet connection, although for my application that is probably fine. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.